Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to EDCNC. My name is Samuel and today I'm going to be showing you what I carry in my everyday carry toolkit. Let's check it out. So another everyday carry tool video, huh? Yeah, I know it's not an original concept, but I've put a lot of time and a lot of research into getting the specific gear that I wanted just for this pouch. And so today I'm going to show you what I've curated and put together to go in this pouch. I think you'll like it. I originally was putting the kit together in this pouch right here. This is the Maxpedition Mini. It's not very small, but this is the mini. A step down is the micro, and then you go your step ups for even bigger pouches. But this was what I originally planned to do it in. Now, this one here has the four small, like one inch, uh, vel not Velcro, what is that called? Elastic? Yeah, elastic loops. This has the one inch elastic loops along this one side with two two inch pockets. And then over here, it's got the inch and a half pockets, I believe it is. Don't quote me on that. And then one big Velcro thing back here. It also has the pockets in the back. And this was working pretty well for me, but I had this laying around. This is the Olife pouch that they came out with quite a while ago. And I actually couldn't find this thing on Amazon. They have one that's like two-sided. This is not it. This is a different one. But this turned out to work really well because of the tall sides in it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. But that's enough rambling, enough said. Let's get into the toolkit. So first things first, we'll start on the outside here. On the outside clipped, I have the Olight Arcfield UV. Now, why the UV? Well, that's just the one I had. Why the Arcfield? Because it's a high output light that has a more flat profile. This and the Streamlight Wedge are pretty good lights to keep in one of these packs because of how flat their profile is. If you have a round light, it's going to uh, protrude more and be a little bit taller. This one fits really well for this type of application. It has, you know, high, medium, low. There's the UV right there. And, of course, turbo. It's got the strobe. It's got all the things you'll need. But most importantly for me, for an everyday carry toolkit, it has a magnet. That was what was most important to me in this pouch. Something that, of course, took up a very small amount of space, but it needed to have a magnet because if I'm going to be working on something with this, it needs to be able to stick to the roof of a car or the hood of a car or something like that. You know, uh, while I'm up under the car, stick it to something. You know, these magnets come in so much handy when you're working on something. So that's the light that I chose for this kit, the Arkfeld UV. So I'm just going to kind of set stuff out here as we go. Up next, let's open her up. I think that's everything on the outside, right? Is it? I had a Bic lighter on the outside, but I guess I took it out. All right, let's crack her open. Boom. So here is everything that I've been carrying. It might look like a lot, but when you break it down into its small components, eat, there's not much redundancy in this pack unless it's needed. So let's start over here. The little bitty crescent wrench. And this guy is kind of what kicked everything off. This is a four inch crescent wrench that adjusts up to, I believe in three quarters. Is that what that is? Um, something like that. No, half inch. It adjusts up to a half an inch. And this kicked this off for me. I was walking through tractor supply one day and I saw this guy sitting there. I was like, hmm, that's a tiny little guy. I'll pick him up for 10 bucks. It's a very impressive deal. So I picked it up and boy, let me tell you, this thing is sweet and it kicked off this whole small tool craze to build out a kit like this. So that is the adjustable wrench in here is the Crescent wrench. That's the four inch model. All this stuff will be linked in the description if you wanna go pick it up, everything I can find anyways. Uh, beside of that, zip ties. Now, someone made the um, comment that Instead of using small zip ties, just take large zip ties and snip them down to length. And that's exactly what I did, and that's a very smart idea. These zip ties have a lot more strength than the smaller ones that are around the four or five inch size that would fit in here. So I got these guys, and I snipped them down, and bam. There's my zip ties. Always got to have them. Up next, the Leatherman Micra. Now, this little guy right here is 
just so useful not only for the scissors but you also have a little bitty blade if you need it a little like flat head a nail cleaner and file let's see what else we have tweezers phillips and yeah like a little flat head bottle opener thing so all these little things in here if i need to open a soda or something i have that uh the scissors though that's what this is in here for if i need to cut you know rope or uh cordage anything like that these guys are gonna come in handy these little fellas are awesome and also they fold up to a super compact size they have the tweezers they have all the things i had a victorinox classic in here but these guys just do everything except for the tweezers better next up pry bar so i was at georgia bushcraft a couple weeks ago weekends ago and the guys from rogan were there and he was uh we had a trading blanket there at the end, and I traded him a knife for this and the uh, Kydex sheath and all those things. But this has been a surprisingly little tool that I've uh, that is very useful. Like uh, this little thing is such a stout piece of 1095 steel that you know I used it to pry the cover off a lawnmower fan the other day. So this little thing is useful, and you know sticking it in a door jam, doing whatever you need to with it for entering or you know breaking things whatever you need to do this little guy will come in handy it's, like i said made out of 10 i think it's 95 maybe 75 don't quote me on that but yeah awesome little guy for scraping prying whatever you need to do let's go to the big pocket in the back big pocket in the back i have a pair of five inch vice grips that i picked up at lowe's these guys are like 15 bucks i think <clears throat> and the reason i have these is of course maybe you need to clamp something down maybe you need to grip something uh, anyone who's familiar with the Leatherman Crunch knows that these little things can be super useful. But here's another one of the main reasons I got it. And I actually used this yesterday. I'll pull out the blade that I used. It was this one, the metal blade. I drive a truck and I have to use racks on the things I haul. And they're aluminum. And one of them was broken because I think it used to be a double rack and then whatever it broke. Anyways, you can take... A pair of vice grips and clamp the blade down in there and you have yourself a sturdy saw I saw through aluminum with this thing and it was great I just went to Harbor Freight picked up their uh, warrior blades I know you can get better but I was there I saw them I went ahead and grabbed them they were like five bucks but yes this thing did great and the more you tighten it and I'll show you uh, these guys in a minute but you can take these grab it tighten it down real tight and that blade is, whoop, well, I was gonna say it's not going anywhere, but that was a poor. There we go. This thing is not going anywhere. I like that a lot. Very useful. I have some wood blades in here and another metal blade. So, yeah, that kind of sets me up with a saw to get out of, you know, whatever situation I might need to. If I need to cut something off, something stuck, cut a tree limb down, whatever I need, this will cover. Now that I've already pulled them out, let's talk about these guys. These are the Nipex SS Cobra pliers, XS standing for extra small. These things are four inches in length, and let me tell you, they are so useful. You hear people talking about them all the time, and I saw them, but I never thought I had a need for them because I had my Leatherman. But as I went on, I figured out a Leatherman cannot tighten and loosen bolts very well. This guy spans up to one inch to grab nuts, bolts, whatever you need to grab a hold of, and it will hold on to them. Let me tell you, this thing is impressive. I'd like to have the five inch set just cause they have the more comfortable handles and that one inch extra of leverage. But these little guys right here, they really serve me well. These are the Nix Nipex Extra Smalls. Up next from 711L, I believe is the name of the company. Yep, there it is right there, if you can see it. This is a little quarter inch bit driver with a quarter inch socket head on it. Now I don't have any sockets in this kit and I think I'm gonna fix that. I've got a set that I can steal from and I'm gonna get me a little bitty socket holder to go in here because I've got the room for them. So I think I'm gonna throw a few on here, of course like 10 millimeter, things like that. I drive a Japanese car and the 10 millimeter would probably be able to take the thing apart and put it back together. So I need to throw a few sockets in here, but this little guy I found on um, Last Best Tool. He was talking about them and I was like, okay, yeah. I'll pick one of those up like eight bucks so grabbed this absolutely awesome <clears throat> and that goes with my Weira I believe the part number is the 813 bit driver 
this little guy is so tiny. Now, the problem I had with getting a stubby driver was if you know like the Wea stubby driver or the Wira stubby driver, they're both really fat. So they would take up a lot of room in this kit. But this little 813 driver is 12 bucks. And look at that size. It's just big enough that I can grab a hold of it with three fingers and put some torque on something if I need to. And also, it's short enough to fit in compact spaces and just do those little bitty tasks that I might need it to. So the 813 bit driver from Wira, man, this little thing is sweet. They also make it with a quick release attachment. Uh, that one is, I believe, $17, but it might be worth it if you've got room in a kit to fit it. So there's those two things. We're getting down to the last few. I'm gonna save these for last. Let's jump back here to these little bitty snippers. So as you can see, I have gummed them up and I've bent this and I've made a mess. But these little guys right here, I picked up from Harbor Freight for like $2.50. They're little Pittsburgh snips. And I've doled them. I used them yesterday while I was weed eating to cut some like uh, wood that was growing around a sign. And you might say, well, you just doled them and ruined them. Yeah, but they're only $2.50. These little guys right here are great. Uh, use them for cutting those cable ties or whatever I need to. These are great, and they don't take up very much space, especially if you have a little back pocket like this to slide them in. So here we have what I would say is the star of the show. We have the Wea bits, the Wea extension, and the Wea ratchet the mini ratchets this little guy is so sweet listen to that it's a very fine tooth count this little guy right here will save the day you can put a lot of torque on this little bitty handle it's got the little rotating wheel back here for driving in fasteners so you don't have to sit there and ratchet all day you can drive them in by hand until they get tight and then wrench it on down but this little guy oh my goodness this comes in a kit it's 32 bucks for i believe it's or it's 30 bucks for 32 bits, uh, the extension and the driver. And oh my goodness, this little guy is awesome. So of course, 72 tooth ratchet, bi-directional, either way you want to go with it. And this little bit holder did not come with it. I bought some cheap bits at Harbor Freight and they had this flexible bit holder, which is perfect for this. But in here I have a T20, T25, T30, uh, Phillips head number two, Phillips head number one, um, a number two square bit, a number one square bit, and a quarter inch, and a number three. No, number two, number one square. I have two number two squares, which is weird. And then this little quarter inch socket driver, which I really need to throw some sockets in here. But yeah, this little piece right here rotates, so if you want to just rotate the whole thing until it gets time to go, and then you start ratcheting. And boy... Let me tell you, this little thing is so useful. This kit, like I said, is 30 bucks, comes in a nice little tin case, and is perfect. I mean, if you don't get anything from this video, pick up this Wea Ratchet. This guy is awesome. Best 30 bucks I've spent in a while. There it all is. That is my everyday carry tool kit. Let me throw all this back in the pouch, and then we'll wrap this thing up. As you can see, it all fits in here really well and really compact, not super thick. I carry this around with me in my lunch bag that I use uh, every single day, and it works great. Um, like I said, I did initially use the Maxpedition pouch, but this little guy, as you can tell from the footage, this guy has tall walls, and it gives just the right amount of space for everything to fit down in there. I, I am very, very happy with this. If you know of anything that I should add, please let me know down below. If I had to guess right now, it would be a lighter and uh, some sockets. But if there's anything else that I was missing, please let me know. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all those wonderful things. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.